I got something on here. Oh my goodness gracious, somebody got a net? Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at a very popular spot. We got sunbathers to our right, we got some bathers to our left. However, we're going right in the middle, guys. Right up along this pier right here. We're going to do some saltwater fishing. I haven't been down here in a minute. And the reason we're coming down here, one, I got live bait. And two, I've got a brand new saltwater combination that I want to use out on this particular pier. So give me a couple seconds, guys. We're going to go ahead and get down there. I'll tell you what's happening and what we're going to be catching. And hopefully along the way, we catch some of our fin friends that we're targeting for the rest of the day. I stopped about a quarter of the way right here just to let you guys know exactly what we're getting ready to do right now. Uh, today we are going to be catching flounder. Most people know them as fluke. Uh, we are going to be fishing on, if locals know, they know, I'm at the Cape and Lopen State Pier. Uh, this is inside of Cape and Lopen State Park. If you're from out of state and don't know what this is, I've dropped the link down below in the description field to let you know where this park is at and what the fees are in order to get in here to go ahead and fish on this great pier right here. Uh, I think it's pretty much open all year round and uh, we can get all kinds of crazy species coming in and out of here all the time. But uh, today, like I said, the fluke is the uh, target right now. Uh, we are going to be going right along the pilings that are right along here. We're going to possibly cast out. If we can get into that far corner and cast out into the deep area and just going to slow jig uh, and try to catch these fish. No artificials today, guys. It's going to be straight live bait. Uh, we got to give a shout out to Steve. He's my boy. He's my number one. I always give my shout out to all the bait shops that are up and down the East Coast here in the state of Delaware, but I always go to him because he's got great prices excellent knowledge and he does a whole lot of things he's got great tackle in there nice repairs and of course all your live bait needs today we got mud minnows right here that are aerated uh, we got plenty of them man he's got the best prices in town six dollars for a pint guys and there's like tons and tons of minnows that are in there but the main reason why I come out here is because I got a new combination that he helped me out with last week uh, because I have a big spinning combination and I hate hauling that thing all the time because that's usually primarily used for my carp and as well as my catfish episodes. So I want to kind of pare down the size of that combination and get out with a new saltwater combination. We've got the uh, BG3000. Uh, that is a saltwater version. That's got a 5, 6 to 1 gear ratio. We got 20 pound braid. It's on here on a 7 foot uh, Tika Libra medium action rod. And uh, we are going to come out here with a Carolina rig, guys. And it's a pretty simple rig right here. You got a kale hook that's on the end, maybe about a foot and a half to two liter line right here. That's 16, 16 excuse me, 15 pound test with a barrel swivel. Of course, we got an egg sinker that's right here with a bead right before it to kind of protect the knot. And another bead that's right above it. And all we're going to do is just kind of bomb this thing out and work the pilings that are right along here and see if we can try to get these brown beauties on the end of the line using nothing but minnows today. One thing I forgot to tell you, I think we have a incoming tide that's going in right now because high tide is at uh, 114 if I'm not mistaken and then we're going to have the outgoing and that's what I'm hoping that we're going to have the good bite going on when the outgoing tide is going out here and we do have some nice good sized lively minnows that we have right here as I mentioned they're mud minnows that we're using here let's go ahead and get the this in here and it's going to be through the bottom lip and through the top And we've got a nice little lively minnow kicking around here. And I'm going to start off right here, guys, fishing right along this uh, pier right here. you got some pilings here. Hopefully I can lean over without falling over. But if I stretch the camera out, you can see all those pilings are right along there. They're like hiding over there. And of course, if we can get down into that corner right there, we can cast out towards those pilings that are out there too as well. But it's a quick little flick right there. Check out the rate, it's going right across the way here in front of us. It's pretty cool looking, huh? But those are one of the species you have to worry about when you're on here. Uh, there's some pretty big ones that come right along the way right here. But uh, it is, I think, slack tide right now, which means that uh, basically we're gonna have kind of slow action going on right now. Hopefully when that change of tide comes around, that water starts moving around, that's when we hopefully have that uh, flounder bite start picking up. Because obviously they like to have a little bit of moving water going on as uh, they're underneath the the uh, silt and everything else that's below us right here and the kind of ambush bait that's coming right along through those uh, tides. All right, let's work our way up a little further up the uh, pier here. Let's grab our belongings. As we're going up and down this pier right here, if I see anything interesting being caught by people, I'm gonna walk up to them and they're brave enough to come on the channel. Uh, we're gonna put them on there and show off the catches that they have. 
What's your name? Brad. Brad, are you from Delaware? Yes, yes. We're Delaware. Seaford. From Seaford, okay. So he's Sussex County, guys. That is, I can't remember, a pigfish or pinfish, but that's what he just caught right here. What did you catch him on? Uh, bloodworm. Bloodworm. So this is, um, we see these a lot here. Uh, I caught a couple of them last year on a high low which uh, they got some pretty cool looking colors that are right along the uh, side of the body here. But we're going to go ahead and hand that back over to him. And like I said, if we see interesting species, uh, we'll go ahead and put them up on there if people are willing to be on the channel there. I appreciate it. All right, my man. Yep. All right. Let's get to work here. Come on. We need some uh, flounder on the end of the line here. But it does not look too bad on the end over here. I'm hoping I can kind of uh, barter my way into the corner over there. That's why I like going to Steve's so I can get a whole bunch of minnows right there because sometimes people run out of minnows and if I got a few extra, there's your in. There's a little politics involved in here uh, when you get up to these piers and people are fighting for the real estate. As long as you're polite, kind, vast majority of people will let you work on through and inside and underneath. But as I mentioned, if they don't like you, they'll give you the stink eye. I think we got a fish on guys. Ah, uh, totally missed them. That was definitely a fish on the end of the line right there. That or could have been a crab, one or the other. Oh, got another tap right here. Oh, that was definitely a flounder, guys. Definitely a flounder. He snatched me. That was a flounder. Dang it. <laughs> I just had one on the end of the line, man. <laughs> flounder yeah as I mentioned to you we have the Carolina rig here there's kind of a reason why the line is that long right there it doesn't have to be that long but main thing is when you cast these things down here and that sinker hits into the uh, bottom of the uh, water here uh, down into the sand uh, the weight tends to bury in there so if you have a short leader it's gonna go right down in the mud with it so the longer you have it the more chances are that's gonna be right above there and as you're jigging this right along this stays above there so the fish can see that bait that bugs me we didn't get that flounder I should have waited just a little bit longer because he was playing with it take a kid fishing guys got pops over here teaching how the kids to fish teaching them about the bait how to put it on where it catches That's a bite right there. I think he got me though. Nope, he's, let's take a look at this. It's definitely a flounder right here. You can see the bite mark right along the backside of that minnow right there. And he's still alive. But uh, we may have a chance of our first fluke within the half hour here. Oh, I think that's one right there, guys. Maybe. Looks like it's moving. There you go, fish on. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, my God. That's promising that we're getting some bites on the end of the line, but uh, this style of fishing that I'm doing right now is very, very effective. I've learned this from one of the gentlemen. It's actually, I see him all the time on here. There's actually a couple gentlemen on here, but one of them is a little bit older than I am. And I see him catch him float. Oh, there's another bite right there. Yeah, he's definitely biting on the uh, bait there. Come on. Always when I'm talking. He's on there, he's on there, he's on there. Fish, ah, dang it. Ah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little one, man, just screwing with me, man. He's there, look. <laughs> All I got left is the head. <laughs> dang it. All right, we got nothing but a head left here. Now that can mean one or two different things. That could be a flounder biting up on it and you just got it right at the head, or it could be a crab biting on the end of the line. But I noticed how fast the line was moving away. There's no way a crab's moving that fast. So that's leading me to believe that it is a flounder that's down there tearing up the bait. But little tidbit for the crabs. There it goes. Looks like we have our tide just getting ready to change right here. Uh, the kelp or whatever it is floating right there, it's floating out towards the bay right there. Here we go, guys. We got our uh, fish and wildlife guy coming up here. He's checking fishing licenses. So we're going to get ourselves prepared right here because obviously he's going to ask me. Okay, I'd have you on camera? Yeah, of course. All right, what's your name? 
Uh, Poli, all right, so we got Officer, uh, you said Poli, did you say? Uh, Foley. Foley. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, so he's going to check our fishing license. And hopefully we can find it here, this blind old guy. <laughs> Any luck today so far? I uh, had three uh, flounder bites right along here. Came up uh, one time with a head. <laughs> These two down here hoping to get the flounder as well. Yeah, I think, is it this year? There we go. All right, in Delaware, guys, he's going to tell us the rules about fishing licenses. Obviously, you can have a paper license on you, but in Delaware, you can have it on your phone. You're all good. Uh, so if you notice, I got my license right here. I also have a trout stamp right here. So if I decide I want to go trout fishing, I can do that. But this license pretty much can tell me I can fish for anything, basically, yep, less, yes, other than the trout that you have that special stamp for. But yeah. hopefully you're doing uh, great today. Yeah, you as well. Do your thing, man, and hopefully everybody has their licenses and you're not confiscating any fish you shouldn't be having. Yeah, fingers crossed. But uh, all the rules and regulations, guys, I'll put down a link below. Uh, it's on the Denrec site, right? Yes, sir. Uh, and that'll tell you what you can and cannot do with these fish that are around these areas right here. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. you have a good one. Yes, sir. Best of luck to you, sir. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Now, that doesn't happen all the time on here, guys, but always, always be prepared on this pier because they are out here and they will get you. Uh, I've seen people get stuff confiscated out of here. I've seen people getting whole coolers taken away. So know what uh, the limits are on the sizes and the amounts that you have because, uh, again, the fines are very, very heavy here and it's not worth it. Okay, guys, things are a little bit slow here, so I've got a father. I'm assuming you're a father, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a father-son team right here. He's kind of doesn't have, like, all the things that you need here, so I kind of hooked him up uh, with a Carolina rig, and the first cast I dropped down with this little boy's uh, Zebco right here, we literally just had a fish on the end of the line right here. So, guys, are, these are straight novices right here, and I always like spreading the knowledge. Uh, so, again, it's not always about me. It's always about all the people around me, man. you got to share the love, guys. There you go. What's your name? Dan. Dan, thanks, yep. Dan. So uh, they've already shown the love to me. I'm sure they're going to pop up on the channel and subscribe, hopefully watch a little bit. Yeah, 302. Fishing. Fishing, you got it. So you saw what I was doing, right? Yeah. That's all you got to do. Sometimes you're going to feel the bite, but sometimes you'll see a rod bend like this and it does look like you're caught on something. So you're going to slowly lift it up. And if you feel little pecks, just try to whack them one. Pick up, and you're just going to jig it along. Don't lift it, just jig it. Stop it and pause. For like three seconds and keep going along the way you can use two hands if you have to if you yeah, don't feel like you can hold it there you go. Better, yeah. <laughs> good luck to you guys right, let me know if you get something it. all right we got uh, one of these uh, rays here guys that's been floating around in the uh, water here first things first put your foot on the uh, tail foot on the you got a pair of pliers no go in my black bag is right on top of that bench right there and just bring the whole bag. Make sure you carry, uh, close the zippers. I may be wrong, guys. It looks like a cow nose, I think. What's Don't that? quote me on that one. If you know what it is, guys, drop a comment below. Grab that towel, guys. The reason why we're grabbing the towel here is, our towel, I'm sorry, is to hold on to that tail right there because we don't want that whipping on us. Right. And then we just pick them up and just toss them back in the water, guys. Pretty simple. Your only penalty, guys, subscribe. <laughs> All right, so that's a good sign that we're getting fish, we're getting crabs, we're getting flounder bites. We had that ray right there by these kids that are right here. So that's letting me know that the water's starting to move around and uh, the bite's starting to pick up. All right, there you go, guys. Check it out, man. Let's check out the uh, resident school leader my man caught right here. But uh, what'd you catch him on? Looks like shrimp. Oh, uh, spot. Oh, spot? Cut spot? There you go. But he's feeding up on all these minnows you saw earlier down the way right here. But uh, nice job right there, man. Multi-species going on here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, bye-bye. All right, off she goes. See you later. All right. Hey. Good deal. Looks like things are getting fired up over here. Are you fishing? Is that you? Yeah, it's me, buddy. Massive fan. All right, I appreciate you. What's your name? Alex. Alex, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Even though we're not catching anything at all, guys, everything that's going on right here is an absolute pleasure to me. I do not have to be the only one always catching fish. I love seeing people catching fish because I can catch them all day long, as I mentioned many, many times. But of course, I'd like to have a byproduct of a fish on the end of the line on my channel. That's the whole point, obviously, sometimes. <laughs> But uh, yeah, definitely uh, changing the tide right there because for about an hour or so, nothing was happening. All of a sudden, we're getting all these fish on the end of the line popping up. And of course, the uh, ray. Wouldn't it be something if that little boy caught a flounder after that rig I tied for him? <laughs> 
Are you smelling smelling with spade fish? What's that again? I'm sorry. Spadefish? Spade fish? Yeah. Did you catch one? Well this guy caught he caught it in just now? In the in the uh, neck, you see it? No, that's a, a sheep's head, man. Oh, that's what he said. Has he got it now? Uh, he's got it. Uh, it's the guy down. See the guy's light pole? They caught it in the crab net. And the guy down further, he gave it to him. Did he keep uh, he it? Kept it. Yeah, he kept it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> guys, look. This is the line I hooked up. There she goes. She caught it. <laughs> there you go. How about that, guys? What is it? I helped the subscriber catch a flounder. Reel up. That's a flounder. Mason! Nice. <laughs> Can Guys, I show it to him? Yeah, I gotta reel up. Keep reeling. Oh, Keep reeling. Okay. Ah, uh, you gotta tighten up the. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to hand line that. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Just hold that. Just hold that. Guys, I literally just tied this Carolina rig for these folks right here. This is mom. Of course, mom catches it. She wasn't anywhere around this. But a tiny, tiny little flounder right there. How about that, guys? This is what it's all about, man. It doesn't matter whether I catch fish or not. You, you got, got this lady with a big old smile on her face. Thank you so much. That's baby flounder. Yeah, that's it. Whoop. <laughs> but obviously, this is illegal, guys. It's okay. too small. Yeah, yeah. I think 16 is this year. 16 inches is this year. Yeah. But he's got two eyes. Yeah. Oh, they two eyes. Yeah. There you go. How about that, guys? That, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a pleasure, man. What's your name? I'm Audrey. Audrey, man. Nice to Thank meet you. Thank you very much for helping me create content on this channel, man. Like I said, it is not. I, I literally just talked a while, a while ago. It's all about everybody. It's around me, guys. Share the love, man. Let's, and let's try I put a smile on this lady's face and his whole family right here. So. What would I say? Fishing is about hope and faith. There you go. <laughs> but let's get this fish back in the water so it doesn't dry out. But excellent, guys. Boom. I, I told you they were there. All right, we're going to walk over here. What's your name, man? I'm Matt. Matt? Yeah. Okay, Matt's got a sheep set here. Like I said, you don't see this too often over on this pier right here, but that is pretty cool, guys. Is it a spade fish? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Check it out. <laughs> but uh, that is a... A definite crazy species over here, guys. I've never seen it over here on the pier, man. But yeah, great job, sure. man. What'd you catch that on? But they caught it in the crab track on chicken. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but it's legal size, guys, so oh, we're yeah. good to go. Good eating right there. Oh, yeah. Awesome oh, job, man. A little fist you. bump on that. That's the biggest one I've seen so far. Thank you. Good job. All right. This pier is fired up, guys. Rockfish, spadefish, flounder, spot. Well, let's see. A ray and a crab. What's that? Yeah, if you got it. Yep, just drop the minnows down, man. That's what the, the lady just caught a flounder on that side over there. I literally just tied her rig and like within a half an hour she had a fish on. Is this makeshift rig for? Uh, nah, I'll help you out. That one? I'll give you a deal. I'll make you a rig if you got an extra water. Yep, I got you. How about that? I got you. Do you have any egg sinkers at all? No. All right, let me get you one for you real quick here. You um, got, looks like you got barrel swivels, so you're good there. Yeah. All right, guys, another species here. We got, what's your name again, sorry? Tony. Tony. Real quick, we're going to show this guy off. We got a sea trout off of blood worms, man. Whoa, he's feisty. But, man, a whole bunch of species today, man. Great job, man. Thank you. Can you unhook that and pop yeah. him back in the water, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Con, sir. All right. I got something on here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Somebody got a net? What is it? No, no, no. I got a big old flounder, guys. Big old flounder. Crab net, crab net, anybody? Wow. That is a nice looking flounder. <laughs> How about that, man? Reach down as far as you can get it down there, buddy. And I'll lift it in there. All the way down. All the way down. Nice. Lift, 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 lift. There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> I got you. I got you. There you go, guys. There's the reward right there. See that? That is definitely a keeper. <laughs> there it is. Nice. All right, man. Somebody's getting fed today, and it ain't me. Guys, who's got ice here? If you got ice in a cooler, somebody's got a keeper today. There you go, man. Bring your cooler over, brother. All right, guys. Let's measure this out real quick here. We got a 18 inch flounder here today, guys. Perfect. Well, after many, many hours, guys, that is my just reward for helping everybody along this pier to get fi catch fish on the end of the line. We'll lay it down here, guys. Go ahead. Yes. I was literally helping this guy right here. Why I helped him run that But uh, perfect, man. I'm going to end the age old debate, guys. 
the brown side's the better side. Stop showing off the white size, guys. That's the pretty side of the fish, but uh, where's that little boy's name? Where's the guy? Is it you guys? Yeah, we're all together. All right, so what's the, what's the family's name? Uh, touch. Touch, we got the Touch family right here is gonna take this keeper, and I'm sure they're gonna enjoy these nice little flays that'll come off this 18 inch flounder, man, but I am so happy right we'll there, guys. Instagram and tag yeah. All right, there you go, guys. The flounder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught one about that big. Look, it's funny, I was helping him out, yep. and it was just hanging over the edge, and I went to pick it up, man, I just felt the tug. We love it. Uh, minnows. Minnows? Yep. Oh, okay. He told me that, I caught my own. Ah, Is that your first flounder ever? Ever. There you go, how yeah. about that, guys? Thanks, congrats. All right. <laughs> so, that's, uh, that's so, I'm sorry, hold before you do that, what's your name again? Audrey. Okay, so Audrey heard the hubbub that's going on down there. She came all the way over here. That was actually her first flounder that she caught. So we she was happy to see that big old keeper that we got in there. And, uh, and I know this is going to be a good meal, mate, because flounder is good eating fish. So and congratulations, enjoy. guys, on that catch right thank there you, for uh, you. you. And enjoy thank it, okay? You. Thank you. All right, guys. All right, Steve, I know you're watching, man. Thank you very much for helping me out with uh, the combo right here. That is officially the first flounder off of uh, the uh, Daiwa BG3000. And of course, the seven foot Tika Libra. That was the rod he paired me up with with a Carolina rig. But uh, pretty simple, guys. Just walking right along the whole edge right here. I knew eventually I was going to get something, but I'm so happy to help a lot of people along the way right here. So I got, again, the just reward of getting that nice looking uh, uh, keeper on the end of the line. Of course, passing it along uh, to other people so they can enjoy that sustenance. All right, I'm re-rigging Connor back up again here. A guy on the corner right there caught another sea trout and a pinfish. Amy's got a flounder on here. I literally helped her son tie a rig. Just go ahead and, you got enough uh, weight on there. You can pull it up, go ahead. I can? Yes, you can. You're just heavy enough. No, no, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, keep reeling? Yep, just keep reeling. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Connor, it got off. Connor. 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 It got off. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the fist bump. She had it, guys. Come on now. But uh, it was close to a keeper, guys. Definitely. That. What the heck was that on now? Um, two minnows. <laughs> Good job, man. You've caught them before, right? I've never caught a flounder before. Well, there no, you that go. My first That's one. another first, guys. Right there. He's gonna be so mad now. Watch. I know. He's gonna cry. <laughs> There's one thing you never do, and this old man, told, this old man right here, just like me, will attest to it. Never scream you got a big one on because guess oh, what happens? What, so 50 hard. people come from that end over to here. Yep. True. All right. <laughs> Don't bounce. Just let it sit there. That's like your mom just did. Is it all the way down? That's a fish. Connor's got one. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Connor. There you go. Boat flip. <laughs> That's not a keeper. It's about maybe 14 inches long. Connor, man. That's the first one ever, man. How about that, guys? A lot of firsts on uh, the channel today. Connor's got the official ruler. He's gonna walk it over. How about that, guys? First for both of them right here. All right, let's get a quick measurement for Connor here. Flip it around the other way, bud, so I can see the uh, numbers here the correct way. And we're gonna put this thing in the water as quickly as we can. That is officially 15 and a quarter inches long, guys. So Connor's got one. Okay. Get it in the sun there so your mom can get a picture real quick. Perfect. Right. Big fat smile, Connor. Eight. Showed off for 302 fishing, Connor. Give me a second and then toss them over, buddy. Any way you want. Don't throw them far. Boom. Oh, oh belly, belly flop. flop. <laughs> Boom. Fist bump, buddy. Don't Tom Brady me. Connor is on fire today. What in the heck? Oh, come on, man. Ninja. <laughs> Real quick, palm them up and look at me. Perfect. Good deal. Check no out. belly flops. Boom, great job, man. Oh. Boom. <laughs> yeah. He caught two in 10 minutes, how about that? The flounder bite is on fire. This is what I like about coming to this pier here, guys. Look at this absolute beautiful sunset that's going on right behind us here at Cape Henlopen. I am absolutely humbled by this day. I had an absolute blast going up and down the pier right here. As I told you, this episode was not about me because I saw a lot of people struggling to try to get fish on the end of the line. I happily tied a whole bunch of rigs and each and every person who I tied a rig on for, they got fish on the end of the line. It was their first on the end of the line of that speed 
species, especially the flounder. You saw uh, almost towards the end of the episode where we had that little flounder blitz, but uh, we have multiple, multiple species on the end of the line. So thank you guys for coming in and inviting yourselves onto this channel. I really appreciate it, guys, because that makes me uh, happy when I see other people smiling besides my own self, because I can catch fish all the time. I just want to see your faces uh, while you're out there catching uh, those uh, fish of a lifetime here, especially during the summer, man. A lot of kids and parents don't come down too often and get into these areas right here and it's always cool to see people uh have something on in the line rather getting burned alive but i'm gonna make my way up the road it's about 45 minutes away guys and it's never fun when you're uh, sunburned and uh, you're tired as anything and you're trying to make your way home and the heads are drooping because i'm an old guy you know how it goes but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed that episode if you did thumbs up guys help me out on the algorithm subscribe to the channel click the notification bell Please don't forget to go over to Instagram at 302 Fishing. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the episode. I'm going to get up the road, guys, get some rest, and uh, hopefully you guys had a great day, and hopefully I get to see you next weekend.